All right, my friends, welcome back. I'm the Zin, this is the Zin video. So I recently, I do some video editing and recently I had this, ran into this problem where my Final Cut Pro video timeline was not matching what my client was giving me for timestamps. And they were using probably some desktop video watching software, um, like QuickTime or something like that. And so they are like, yeah, chop this part out, chop that part out. So I was like, how come when I scrub my timeline on quick Final Cut, it's not matching up what they're telling me? And I found out that you know Final Cut and other desktop video watching programs don't always have matching time things. So this is how I resolve that. So maybe you have the same problem. So what I did was, so this is my video timeline here. Um, we're in Final Cut now. I'm scrubbing through my timeline, looking for spots. And then I had my QuickTime video and I'm scrubbing through the timeline here, I'm trying to match it up. I'm like, oh, okay, they're not matching up. So at first I was just going to my QuickTime and going like, okay, this is the spot they need. And then I go back to my um, Final Cut and I go, okay, whatever, find that spot on my timeline. But what I ended up being able to figure out was if you go to window and you go to source time code, Th this window that I'm moving around right now is the source video of your video. So if you can see, so we'll just put the times together. So right now, if I scrub my timeline, you see how the source and the final cuts are different times. That's what's happening. So the source one, the video through QuickTime or whatever is like at 3719. If they wanted me to edit there would actually be 3908 on my final cut program. So that's how I was able to solve that problem. And the kind of the neat thing about this too, is if you do end up doing a, um, a cut before you finish and you change your timeline, like, and then you go scrub through this. So you're in the first few seconds of the timeline and then wherever that cut was, it'll jump up. So it keeps the same. So if you're editing through your, your project, and you're like, whoops, I accidentally did a bunch of editing and they wanted me to do something at one minute and 14 seconds. You just, you can just scrub through your timeline and this source timeline, this source timestamp time code will be there in the accurate spot, even if you did make some edits. So hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully you got that. So real quick recap, if you found that your um, Final Cut Pro timestamps, timeline, time is not matching what your client's giving you, Go to the source, you know, go to window, source time code for the source that you're working on. And that should hopefully help you out, match up your timelines. It's a little bit, you know, you have two sources now, you have two things to look at, but it's a lot easier than going outside of the program um, that I was doing at first. So hopefully that's helpful. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to blow this thing up. All right, be loving, kind, and patient as always. Peace.